viewers welcome back to the channel sampurna adhyan uh, today i am going to discuss in this video that uh, how to uh, we can conduct the piece by simulation of a single phase midpoint cycloconverter you can see on the cover that there is a very uh, good schematic we have uh, created and we are getting a very lovely response corresponding to that of a step up cycloconverter which is a midpoint single phase cycloconverter so please watch the video till end and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the further uh, notification updates and uh, you can watch my previous videos related to the piece by simulations and hardware related demonstrations also so quickly i'm going to start about the single phase midpoint cycloconverter let me tell you the few basic things related to the cycloconverter then we will move to the uh, piece by simulation now uh, as an introduction we can see that uh, a device which can convert input power at the one frequency to the output power at another frequency with the one stage conversion is called as cycloconverter the cycloconverter uh, actually converts the ac to ac while changing only the frequency hence it is also known as a frequency changer so basically cycloconverters are of two type uh, step down cycloconverters when your output frequencies are lesser than your supply frequency then it is known as a step down cycloconverter and when your uh, output frequency is uh, uh, higher than your supply frequency then you have a uh, step up cycloconverters both of uh, actually have their own different kind of uses in the different kind of uh, requirements now uh, we also have uh, one of the example of a step down con uh, cycloconverters for converting the three phase 50 hertz supply to the single phase 16.67 hertz supply for use in the ac traction system in the germany maybe it is a little bit old example but a lot of uh, uh, present examples are also there you can search and you can find on the uh, internet and for the better understanding we actually keeping the resistive load uh, for the cycloconverter to understand its operation so let me show you that what is the actually the electric uh, uh, equivalent circuit diagram for the uh, midpoint single phase cycloconverter so here uh, as a midpoint uh, single phase cycloconverter you can see that we have taken a ac source over here and we have a, a center tapped secondary center tapped uh, uh, single phase transformer also so when you have a center tap transformer you will get a uh, voltage uh, on the secondary side on both the windings as similar to the primary of these windings so whenever the ac source is connected over here then you have uh, actually two anti-parallel connected uh, thyristor configurations p1 n1 and p2 n2 why it is termed as a p1 and p2 and n1 and 2 actually p1 p2 are the positive groups and the n1 and 2 are the negative group thyristors and we are actually considering this kind of a I naught that means the output current this direction we are considering the positive and the polarity we are considering the plus minus positive for the this resistive load uh, although this is a AC source so the polarity keeps on uh, uh, changing with the frequency but uh, whenever there is a, a like a positive alteration occurs then the VA0 is also positive uh, with the same polarity and VB0 is also I have the same polarity and at that time you can see that your p1 and n2 thyristor will be forward bias and you can uh, trigger these two alternately and you can get a high frequency cycloconverter output across the resistor and similarly when you have the negative alteration at the supply side then your vab0 va0 and vb0 both will be the same polarities and at that time your thyristors n1 and p2 will be the forward bias and you can trigger them uh, alternatively and you can get the uh, cycloconverter high frequency output so you can see that here when for the 0 to pi uh, uh, when your p1 and n2 are the forward bias you can alternately trigger and you can get the high frequency outputs of the uh, your uh, uh, at your uh, load okay but what one thing you have to always keep it in your mind that whenever you follow the like p1 is triggered it is follow the positive envelope and when the N2 is triggered, it follows the negative envelope of your voltage. But be, during this, when P1 is actually triggered, and at you have you have to make it the force commutate over here at this point T1. Okay, if you do not make it force commutated and you triggered N2, it will not give the correct responses. Although in this particular piece by simulation, we have not applied the force commutation. Actually, we have given the triggering signals in such a manner 
and we have given certain uh, gaps between the triggering of the p1 and n2 so that we will automatically get the commutation over here which is a natural commutation or line commutation it depends upon that what amount of supply and the load you have connected if the anode to cathode current of thyristors will become uh, will go below the your uh, like a uh, uh, holding current then it uh, goes below the uh, your uh, uh, off state or uh, the thyristor will become the commutated so the same concept we are uh, we have used now let me quickly go to the piece by simulation so this is the schematic I have already actually made in my uh, project so you can uh, I have already uh, shown you so many projects uh, uh, videos so you can actually follow that how to make these all these schematic and how to create the new schematic and different components how you will get and you can add so you can visit my previous videos and here what we have actually we have a AC supply which is uh, of a 12 volt uh, RMS value and 50 Hertz and we have actually connected a, a, a second center tab secondary tra uh, transformer over here AC transformer over here and then we have anti parallel connected uh, thyristor configurations which is 2 and 1595 thyristors you can easily get in your library and this is also anti parallel connected and we have utilized the V pulse uh, to trigger these thyristors with a certain uh, configuration and setting so let me show you that how you get these configurations so when you go into the place part option and you actually uh, like uh, if you want to search the transformer you have to type XFRM and this uh, kind of uh, tra different transformer configurations will come across you and you can actually uh, search that which one is your uh, secondary center type transformer and you can actually utilize and you you can add with the, uh, by clicking on the ok and you can place on your schematic also similarly you can also get the 2 and like uh, let me show you 2 and 1595 thyristor configuration you can also get v pulse so v pulse you can get and you can uh, add all these components on your schematic for the resistive you have to just go to the type r and you can utilize r analog and you can select the resistive load so these many components we required and of course as a mandatory part we required the ground correction also which you can get from here at the zero source so when you click on this one and you can get uh, the ground because you have to connect a ground over here otherwise you will get a floating error in your simulation now here one thing you have to understand that which one is my p1 and which one is my n1 and which one is my p2 and n2 okay so here this is this is the thyristor x1 and uh, this is the thyristor x3 this is x1 is uh, corresponding to the p1 and x3 is corresponding to the n1 and you can see that this x2 is corresponding to the p2 and your x4 is corresponding to the n2 so for the for positive alteration what we are going to give because our supply is of 50 hertz so its time period is actually for positive alteration is 10 millisecond and total time period is 20 millisecond so the uh, what we are going to do we are going to trigger the uh, first thyristor p1 uh, at the time delay zero that means uh, at the start of simulation it will get triggered with the this many uh, voltage value and we have given the time rise and time fall of a 0.01 microsecond and you can see that here because we are actually looking for the step up cyclo converter so here we make the uh, switching frequency high which is of a 500 hertz that means 2 millisecond period we have gained and we are going to alternatively uh, p1 and n2 we are going to alternatively uh, turn on and turn off so the for that one uh, millisecond period we should give but actually we have given 0.9 millisecond and we are providing a 0.1 millisecond gap to commutate this thyristor as corresponding to the n2 so x4 is corresponding to the n2 now you can see that we have given a time delay that means once this thyristor will become off at the 0.9 millisecond with the uh, uh, gap of 0.1 millisecond over here and the time delay one more 0.1 millisecond gap we have given extra gap over here and then it will get uh, start triggering and it will uh, like uh, uh, triggered up till the 0.8 millisecond starting from the 1.1 millisecond of the period 
and the same switching frequency we have given over here i think you can understand this particular concept so uh, when you actually this p1 will trigger and it will come like a trigger up till the 0.9 millisecond from the zero well uh, uh, starting value to 0.9 millisecond then uh, 0.2 millisecond will gap uh, we have provided by uh, maintaining the gap 0.1 millisecond over here and 0.1 millisecond over here then we have triggered this particular p uh, n2 uh, thyristor which is uh, uh, corresponding to your equivalent circuit diagram and it will going to be remain on for the 0.8 millisecond starting from the 1.1 millisecond so if, with this we can actually uh, uh, like uh, providing the gap to commutate the thyristor and similar concept we are providing for the next alteration which will be going to start after the 10 millisecond so this for this the p2 will be we are going to trigger after the 10 millisecond and it will remain turn on for the next 0.9 millisecond with the same frequency and for the uh, p uh, like uh, here we have taken p2 and there is a n1 so n1 is of uh, we are actually triggering at 11.1 millisecond and time rise and time fall are the same and it will remain turn on for the next 0.8 millisecond with the same frequency now let me show you that what is my simulation profile so when you go for this and you will get actually the simulation profile here so you can run the your simulation for the like uh, the basic period is 20 milliseconds so we are running for the five uh, cycles that is 100 millisecond and the maximum step size is 0 0.001 that you can maintain uh, anytime and you can run the simulation now you if i'm going to run the simulation then uh, you can just uh, wait for a while uh, on the simulation window let me go to the response window uh, maybe you will get this kind of a message during the uh, simulation of this no need to worry just you have to maintain the best accuracy of the current just uncheck this particular best accuracy of the current and make this uh, 1 into 10 to the power minus 12 make it as 1 into 10 to the power minus 1 only and click on this ok and resume simulation option so when you click on the ok resume simulation option it will start further uh, simulating from the whatever the part is already get simulated so now ok and simulation click on this and you will uh, reach up to this particular uh, part of the uh, your response window here what is the, what are the responses this green one let me make it thicker or let me make it separate for you first of all uh, you can add plot to window over here now if we I'll separate my uh, some of the responses over here you can see that uh, I can separate by uh, cutting and pasting over here on the different windows now let me make it little bit thick for you so that you can observe it clearly in the video and there will be no issue for you to observe the things so let me make it clear okay now this is also if i'll make it uh, a bit thicker for you now you can see that it is my supply voltage ac supply voltage which we have which we have actually applied at the primary of the transformer this is the voltage which we are getting at the secondary uh, center tapped uh, uh, secondary winding of the transformer there is a little bit glitches over here it is uh, coming because we got, because here we haven't provided any force commutation actually we are providing the uh, little bit gap in the triggering time and that will actually making the commutation of uh, your thyristor based on your resistance actually we have taken a small resistance and a small voltage supply that's why it is automatically get commutated now this is the output frequency or the output voltage we are get, getting over here we can actually observe that here the basic period is of 50 millisecond while the base here at the output the frequency is becomes very high it is of 500 hertz now that means your uh, frequency is increased by 10 times so this is nothing but a step up cycloconverter response so it is nothing but a very nice response we are getting over here 
a bit of glitches we are getting here because we are not applying the force condition so you can actually have the step of cyclo converter response in the pspy simulation very easily so i hope you have uh, got the idea let me show you the schematic again here especially we have taken the 12 volt supply and 2 kilo ohm resistance over here just to make it sure that whenever we providing any gap between the triggering then it will automatically the anode to cathode current of that particular thyristor will become automatically go below the holding currents of the thyristor so that it will get commutated automatically without applying any kind of a force commutation so i hope this video will give you the complete uh, uh, insight that how we can actually simulate the piece by simulation and i request you all to please follow uh, my other videos and other uh, uh, topics so that you can get the many other uh, ideas that how to actually simulate uh, all these things and let me uh, uh, also tell you that uh, what are the different aspects of the cyclo converter uh, in the next video i will discuss about the bridge uh, type cyclo converter you can please uh, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the uh, uh, continuous notification updates and thank you if you have